What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove and reinstall the mirror on this 2001 BMW 325XI. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description, head over to 1AAuto.com. To pull the switch out, uh, you wanna use something really thin. You can use a trim tool or a really small pocket screwdriver. Get in here, just be careful. You don't wanna ruin the door panel. You can try to put your plastic um, trim tool behind it to try to prevent from damaging the panel. Get underneath here, get under there, and it'll slide right up. Just disconnect the connector, just grab it and slide it up. Take a trim tool, we want to take this trim off right here, just slide it behind here. Gently pry behind here, being careful. Pop this out with some clips, just hold it on. Oh, this one popped out, but we can pop that back in. And with my trim tool, just get underneath here, take these little covers off, pop those off. Now I can take these screws out. There's five of them. I'm gonna use a T20 extension and a ratchet. I can use a little magnet get the screws out. Now I'm gonna get a trim tool and we'll just pry behind the door panel. I'm just gonna pry it out. You wanna make sure you pry it out this way. Slide it off the lock rod. Beware of those clips. That's why you wanna slide it straight out. Now we can disconnect the handle right here. You just pry it up like that and slide it out. That's actually really easy. Take these wires off. You can use a trim tool. Get behind here. Pop these off. Disconnect the speakers. Just use a small blade screwdriver. And there's no lock on that, but there is one on this one. You just squeeze it, just like that. I'm gonna take a trim tool. We're gonna take this piece of trim off right here, underneath here. There's a retainer. Try to get under there without breaking it. Slide that out. Kind of gotta slide it towards the middle of the car a little bit. Over here, there's a little trim push pin right there. So we wanna try to get that off. Get underneath there. Uh, it might be easier to use a pocket screwdriver. There we go. Pop this out. Slide this out right here. Take the trim tool, get underneath here. Oops, little clip popped off, goes right there. This weather stripping is in my way, so I'm gonna peel this up. Just grab this right here, that slides right out. There we go, slide that out like that. And there is a wire that's attached. I'm gonna disconnect this wire. Peel back on this butyl tape right here and disconnect the connector right there. Just 
grab the connector and separate it. If you need to use a little pocket screwdriver, slide it out. You can grab this trim. It should slide right off. And there we go. And we're gonna disconnect this little wire for this uh, tweeter speaker right here. Just grab that or take a pocket screwdriver. Just get underneath here. There you go, pull that off. And I'm gonna use a T30 socket, extension and a ratchet. Take these two bolts out first. And the bottom bolt, I actually don't have to take off yet. Um, it is slotted, so you just slide it up, and there's the tweeter. Before I take the other two bolts out for the mirror, I am going to take and disconnect the wire. It goes all the way down to this module right here. And then <clears throat> use the pocket screwdriver. I'm just going to push on this. There is a ratchet style clip. It goes on here, just push down on this, and it ratchets out. It's like a lock, so you just push down on that little lock tab, and then this will help push the connector out. Slide that out. Now I'll use the T30 extension and ratchet, take these two bolts out. This one out. Once I get this one loose, I am going to support the mirror from the outside. Take that out. I can grab the mirror, just slide it out carefully. Try to take the foam out. Slide the wire through the hole. And the connector. The connector has to go a certain way. And then you get the old one out. All right, we're going to take this connector, slide this through the hole right there, feed the wire through. We're gonna slide this insulation right here, back in there. Just wanna push that in a little bit. It's almost easier if you take the insulation off first. Slide the insulation in first. Get that in position, and then we'll slide the mirror in. Now I'm gonna start with this screw right here. Take the T30 and hold the screw and get it started. Put this one in down below. I'm gonna snug these two up first. Just make sure that hole is lined up up top. using an electric ratchet, you can use a regular ratchet. Just snug them up. That's good. We're gonna run this wire. Now if you took the wire off this connection right here that holds it up against the door, you want it in that location right there. And then feed the wire down here, down to this module. Now this has to be open, just like that, and you're going to push and kind of close that little lever as you push it. It's got to get lined up a certain way. There we go. And then 
lock it closed. It should be good. I'm gonna take this tweeter speaker, slide this over the bolt right there. And then take the screw, screw this in up top. And then we'll snug this up with the ratchet using the T30. This wire, plug it into this connector right here, lock it in place, and slide it back down here. Now we're gonna put this door trim back in. We're gonna slide this corner up here first. Make sure that lines up. Just gonna take a straight blade screwdriver Try not to rip the weather stripping. Slide this in position down here. Just take that straight blade screwdriver. Make sure it gets in between this seal right here and the door. piece right there. Clip popped off earlier, so we're just gonna reinstall that. Line that up. <clears throat> Lock that in place. Take this little pin, you know, put that back in place. There we go. And lock it down. Take this uh, window strip or weather strip, slide that back in position. Push it down. Just like that. Take this connector, line this up, lock it in place, and then stick it in the retainer. Just like that. Now you're ready to put the door panel on. Now we wanna reconnect the speaker wiring harness. Connect the big speaker, then we'll connect the tweeter. There. This wiring harness is going to slide through here, just like that. And then push this retainer right here. Make sure this wire comes through here, just like that. And then when we connect up this um, rod, this um, lock latch cable, we want to make sure that this inside latch is in the closed position like that. And then slide this in here, latch it in place, double check to make sure it's working properly, which it is. We'll slide onto the lock rod. Get everything lined up and just push it back on. Then we can reinstall the screws. Remember the long screw goes right here. And then the short ones go in the other places. So a shorter screw goes right here. Using a T20 socket and a ratchet and extension. Smaller one goes right there. And then also under here, under the armrest. All right, those are all tight. These little covers go on the bottom one. Just line those up. Push them in. This cover goes on top. Let's just pop this piece off here. Take a straight blade screwdriver. Pop this off. That can go right there. Take this piece, line it up. Get that lined up. Oh, there is two little tabs on the front of this, so get those in first.
take the mirror switch. Let's connect the connector. It only goes on one way. And slide it in position. Push it straight down. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts shipped to your door, the place for DIY auto repair. And if you enjoyed this video, please click the subscribe button.